You can share your stuff online, but you never see someone's face when they see your work. And then to see like how like a kid might react or like even like a parent might react when they see my stuff, that like means the world to me. I'm an artist from South London. I like to do several different things. I don't like to stick to one thing. So even though I paint, I like to make jewelry and accessories. I studied textiles, so I did a bit of knitwear, did a bit of print, did a bit of everything. I used to be a dancer. I literally just play about. And back, guys, and back. I quit my job so that I could come to New York. It's been, a, it's been interesting because I feel that for me it's the start of something new. However, at Afropunk, I realised that like I was sitting behind the tent the whole time and I was kind of nervous and I could have just sat at the front and enjoyed the show and met, met more people. But it's cool, um, even like the train system, I've just been trying to figure it out and stuff and I think if I was to come again, I've got all that stuff out of the way. The, the style chose me, I think. Um, I don't know. I've never like planned to do something in a certain way. I've just done it and over time I've developed a style. And I started off painting like a lot of self-portraits because I never had anyone to paint. And I think over time I've developed a style from it. And like now when I create these characters, they're not necessarily me, but they might have my features because I'm so used to, like I've grown up like drawing my own face. When someone tells you, oh like, I love this because my daughter has freckles or something, or my, my daughter's albino, or my daughter's dark, and there's nothing I can find for, find for her. It makes me want to do more of that. And I don't know what I'm doing. I feel like there's something that's telling me to do it, and I'm just doing it, and it's working out. I would have never been able to connect with people from this country, like in, or even like New York in general. And then the whole fact that I've never done vendoring, I've never like, I share my work online and it's taken me a lot of guts to do that. So then for me to come here and be in person, like I get really awkward and for me to meet people face to face, it's kind of taking me out of my comfort zone. So then when I say it's the start of something special, I think it's the start of me being able to interact with people more. Me being British, I, I come from a Jamaican family and I know, I know where I'm from in that sense, but I feel like with Americans it's a bit different. And I reckon there's a sense of home as well. And regardless if you're African American and you don't know like where your ancestors are from, you get a taste of different things and you, you meet people who just who look just like you. And you I think the overall experience is just is just a cool thing. Like yeah, it is nice because you dress up, you do your thing, but you're meeting people who can teach you something new about your own culture and who can inspire you to like be yourself as well. My name is Kay Davis and I'm an artist and a textiles designer.